Well, I left some details out of my um, podcast, so I want to talk. I'll talk a little more about records. Um, I talked about um, Ovechkin's records. I talked about um, Brady. I talked about um, Steph Curry and LeBron James. Well, I didn't talk about LeBron James, but um, let's get the baseball. Albert Pujols at 679 home runs. Um, so. I don't think he's going to catch Bonds' 762. Um, but I, if he does play this year, he'll probably break the 700 home run milestone. Um, Bonds' record is probably unbreakable. Maybe Mike Trout can get there. But we think about... Um, but I, I mentioned this in basketball. Like we, thought, we talked about how uh, Babe Ruth changed baseball. We are seeing Steph Curry change um, basketball, so that, that that. So, what are your thoughts on that? Hit me up on Twitter at JRed Show. Soccer as it, right now, Cristiano Ronaldo has like over eight hundred goals, but but the problem with soccer is um, there's so many leagues, there's so many cups. That's why it's hard to keep track of records in um, soccer. And it's hard to um, really pin out who has the most goals. But as of right now, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are the two top soccer players. But back to basketball, um, we've had a people have had a huge debate on Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. But we might add Steph Curry to that list. Um, because um, he, he he's about to break the NBA three point record at 33 years old. He's rev- he's changing the sport. So is James Harden. LeBron James he probably will break Kareem Abdul Jabbar's record. <coughs> Everyone in the media has been saying, "Oh, LeBron is done after all his injuries and everything he struggled through this year." Yet, he still put up 20, 30 points a night on a Los Angeles Lakers team that's not very good. I mean, I know LeBron fans will use that as a, as a weapon to say that LeBron's better than Jordan. But Jordan fans look at the, the Last Dance documentary and say, well, Le- Michael Jordan had drug addicts. So, who is your thoughts on the greatest of all time? Hit me on Twitter, Jerry Show. Giannis Edson McPello will probably be the next in line for the discussion of grace of all time because what he's done with the Milwaukee Bucks is spectacular. And I expect him to compete <clears throat> when his career is over. He'll be up there with the, in the record books with Curry, with James, with Harden, and all the NBA greats. Football, I mentioned Tom Brady versus... Um, Pat, uh, Tom Brady versus Aaron Rodgers, but Patrick Mahomes has put his name into the discussion. And Derek, can I say, is, dare I say Josh Allen's put his name in the discussion? If the Bills win the Super Bowl this year, that will show that Allen can overcome the obstacles. So if, if Allen can win, the Bills win the Super Bowl this year, I think Allen will be in the discussion. But for now, I'm going to say it's Rodgers versus Brady versus Mahomes. In hockey, um, Wayne, we have Wayne Gretzky. It's Wayne Gretzky's what I consider the greatest of all time. But you gotta consider Ovechkin could break his record in an era where it's harder to score. Um, and Connor McDavid, he is tearing the league up. Imagine if McDavid and um, Ovechkin was in the eighties. Uh, Sidney Crosby, um, I did mention him as a potential, but he's kind of fallen off the map, um, so, but he does, he does have the second most face-off behind, of all time behind Patrice Bergeron, and he has three Stanley Cups, but I don't know about, um, Ove- I don't know about, um, Ove- about, um, that soccer, as I said, um, it's Ronaldo and um, Messi. Um, Pele was considered the best um, before them. Next up might be Harry Kane. 
on to lacrosse. I haven't got I haven't got to lacrosse. I got three minutes left in this. Um the Buffalo Bandits are back. They are 2-0. and They defeated the Rochester Nighthawks 12-8. Um, in lacrosse, John Tavares is what I consider the greatest of all time. But Dan Dawson is closing in on Tavares' records. The goal record, the games played record. So, what are your thoughts on sports? Hit me on Twitter at JRedShow, and I will see you later.